Pick here and you're watching Psycho Cat. Today we're going to be talking about the Stroop Effect. And for those of you who don't know what the Stroop Effect is, it is a phenomenon that was discovered in the 1930s by J. Ridley Stroop. Not sure how he discovered it, but he realized one day that if you're looking at a list of words that are colors written out and the text is different colors than the word on the print, then it's very difficult for somebody to pick out the color of the word. So here's the challenge. I want you guys to look at the screen, see these words, but do not read the word out loud. Rather, read the color of the word. So for example, the word written out is pink and it's in the color green. I want you guys to say green, not pink. Make sense? And you're supposed to do this as fast as you can. All right, so I'm actually gonna do this now so you guys can see how good or bad I am at it. I haven't really tried it yet, so I have a feeling I'm probably gonna be pretty bad. I'm looking at it on my laptop in front of me. Okay, here we go. Let's do this together, guys. Red, blue, green, red, yellow, blue, green, red, red, yellow, blue, red. How'd I do, guys? Was I fast? Was I faster than you? Were you guys faster than me? Let me know in the comments below how you guys did, if you thought this was pretty easy, or if you thought it was hard, and how you did. Basically, there's two reasons why this might be happening. The first one is the speed of processing theory. The pause happens because we can read words faster, we can name the colors. The second might be because of the selection attention theory. Because naming colors requires more attention than reading words. Did you guys beat me in a Stroop Effect challenge one-on-one? -on -one? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to to subscribe to the Door 3 YouTube channel to see more of me on Psycho Cat and a bunch of other videos. Bye!